Hey folks, welcome to Battle World Report 6 again. This is part of the tournament, the Dyson Dagger Ran, um, DBA tournament. And this time my Persians are up against the um, Republican Romans again. So I should have learnt plenty from the previous one. Um, hopefully it will go alright. As you see, this is set up here. We've got two lots of, uh, one lot of bag going where my Siloy are in. We've got a hill and um, three, uh, what do you call them, fields. So with a good roll of the dice to begin with, um, we've got rid of the fields just so uh, they didn't affect us, uh, just for moving in that. And as you see there, I pushed up my cavalry as I do, up into the flank. I was going to try and take advantage of uh, my cavalry numbers again. See if I can take out the enemy's general. Uh, my spearmen just formed up, ready to form a line. I face off against the uh, Roman inevitable line. And my silo head well in the difficult terrain. As you can imagine, my opponent's turn, he starts forming up his uh, Roman line, and uh, yep, as is intimidating as always. And here you can just see us facing off. So you can see on my, my side, I'll just quickly go through the troops, just in case you haven't seen the previous one. The opponent's got, uh, the, the pot of being Romans, he's got two cav, and then he's got a line all of blade. In behind, he's got his two siloi, so the red shield's all blade, and then the blue shield's is triarii, which are spear. And I have my silo in the bag going on the bottom here. I have my spearman, my general horse in behind, and then I've got two light horse and two cav up on the uh, left hand side going up there. As you can see, I'm very quickly running out of space as my opponent starts to form his line and pretty much covers uh, their table. So there's not going to be any easy flanks here. Um, as, as I say, I'm just hoping to break off his general and take him out of the equation, make him harder to manoeuvre everything else and um, easier for me to win the combats. So we continue to push forwards. Uh, I keep my, um, my, war, my infantry all in a line there. I keep my siloid in the terrain. It's not going to affect them and give me a slight advantage against the spearmen that are coming in who will be affected by the terrain. On the top hand side there you can see my cavalry um, all forming up. I've put my light horse too deep just to give me that uh, tactical factor of three instead of two. Give me a bit more chance against the opponent's uh, cavalry. And also my general's gone up there as well. Give me more of a chance of an overlap. So I decide this is my moment. I have the overlap. I'm going to go in. I shall start with my cavalry against his infantry. Because that will be my three down to his two. Because he'll have the overlap thanks to my general. Um, and then yeah, yeah, as you can see, I lost that combat. <laughs> so his general then managed to kill my other cavalry. Uh, my light horse pushed back his cavalry. Uh, that's not really what I wanted. <laughs> One cavalry down, and uh, the advantage starts swinging in my opponent's favour on this flank very quickly. So my opponent's turn gets just enough pips then to move his other foot up to support the rest of the fight, and just gets his troops back into line here. And as you can see, I've now got uh, two. Uh, corner contacts with my general and my light horse is also overlapped as well uh, so it's not a good place to be in so as you can see my um, light horse at the top there will just push back and funny enough my uh, war my my uh, sorry commander did just as well my opponent's commander and drove back the infantry um, giving me a slight push on there so with that I reformed the line and with this line breaking up just a little bit I decided to push my spearman forward as well ready to engage in some fighting and help support the horse and protect its flank. Uh, here's just a slightly wonky shot, <laughs> just showing the two battle lines facing off against each other. So I go in at the top and things go relatively well for me. I managed to um, break my opponent's uh, foot that was fighting my calf. Um, and my spearman joined in to help support and drove back the infantry as well. So this is looking good. I'm quite happy with how this flank is acting at the moment. Uh, as you see, I also drove his cavalry back on the top side as well. So this is uh, making me feel just a little bit better on this flank. So at the moment I'm up because I've got two of his blade for one of my cav. So seeing how things are going, my opponent task sides now, this is the time to give the good old push and drives everything forwards into my troops. On the top hand side there you can see his, um, just see the back end of his general's horse. Um, they've managed to flank round um, to my light horse. Uh -huh. So that's problematic because if I lose that, um, yeah, I'll be losing the two light horse there. But elsewhere, you know, things are pretty even uh, at the moment. So the centre becomes a traditional infantry shoving match, uh, as you can see. Um, 
I don't think we took any losses either side there with the infantry, with my cavalry support. Um, I actually lost that combat and they're pushing back my spearmen there. So my spearmen are now going to be at a disadvantage pretty much across the board. Uh, at the top side, uh, surprisingly enough, my light horse actually beat back uh, my opponent's cavalry. Um, so they didn't get destroyed, which is good. So in my turn, I take the bull by the horns. And considering that he'd left my cavalry to roam free, I charge my general into the flank of um, the infantry and my cavalry into the flank of the other infantry. Now, I... Uh, in the old rules, I'm pretty sure you used to hit and then they used to turn, but now the turning is at the end of the movement, uh, which means my not my best stats for facing up against them. But with the flank engaged, I know I've got quick kills on these blades. All I have to do is beat them to kill them. And since I only need two more kills, that would be ideal. Now, if you notice here, um, because there's a 40 mil gap between them, which is really important, there's space there for my general to move back if I lose the combat or anything. Um, so we've got no problems there. But later on, uh, it, as happens, something was nudged and it doesn't quite work out so well for my general. So as you can hear, see here, the fighting goes on and uh, everything else is pretty much a push. <laughs> my general's combat ended up being a stalemate and we got locked in combat for another round. But I did kill the other chap uh, that was behind my spear there. And it, as, you, as you can see now, um, this must have happened as my opponent took out his um, blade. I'm now offset touching my um, horse and uh, yeah this is going to become a problem for me um, yeah so what happened was basically we, we were we were the last to play in this game um, it's been quite a push and um, a lot of thinking involved and uh, we got quite a group gathered around us now because <laughs> unfortunately this cavalry was placed in such a way that I couldn't push him back because I wasn't aligned perfectly up to the front of it um, yeah, my opponent just said, ah, oh, General's dead, um, because as you see, he's won the fight there, which means he killed off my Spearman and my General, and that has won it for him. Um, but yeah, he wasn't dead, he could have recalled back, uh, they should have been in line, but uh, it's just got to that point at the end of the uh, game where everyone was watching you, and you just didn't want to be that guy saying, oh, hang on, no, 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 um, but yeah, I should have really. I mean, I have everyone here, I'm the one who actually documents and photos my battle reports. So I could have just put my camera on and had a quick look and seen what had gone wrong and seen where my guy had been nudged. Um, but unfortunately, I didn't question it. I just uh, hung my head in shame that I managed to put my general in such a stupid position and accepted it. But never mind. Uh, so it was a loss there for my Persians, uh, which is a bit of a shame because I'm pretty sure I, I ha had him now. Um, with my cavalry here charging around the backs and starting to really mess up his lines. Uh, but never mind. Um, I think I was getting the hang of these Republican Romans. Uh, I really have to push the flanks and um, break through where I can because the, the, the blade line is just nasty. <laughs> it breaks up my spear far too quick and then gives him all the advantages. Um, so I think I did right here. I think I did learn from the mistakes from the first one. Uh, it's just a shame. Yeah about my general hey ho uh, so that that was a loss for me